Hi traders, joining me here today is Nathan and Lachlan from The Trading Floor. And today we're gonna be discussing a few pairs that have gone under the radar in the recent light of gold, the US dollar and US stocks. And the pairs that we're gonna be discussing today are evolved around the Aussie dollar, Aussie shares and the likes of BHP, Rio Tinto and Fortescue Metals. And on top of that, what's taking place in the iron ore market. So at the moment, what we're seeing is iron ore has come under immense pressure over the past few months for a series of reasons. Now, number one is we know that there's been a housing downturn in China and followed by that, China is making efforts towards lowering their emission. Now, throughout China, the total amount of emissions taking place from the production of steel comes in at 18%. On top of that, We've saw rumors last week in regards to trying to stabilize the prices in iron ore revolved around in reducing the supply chain. Now, ultimately, we all know Australia, Canada, Brazil and South America lead the charge in regards to iron ore exports. Now we're seeing BRICS nations contribute to that supply. So I'm going to have both Lachlan and Nathan give their perspective on the Aussie dollar as well as Aussie stocks and the likes of Fortescue Metals. So. Lachlan, let's start off with you. What's your take on what's happening in the moment around the iron ore market and how is that impacting stocks such as Fortescue? So Fortescue Metals has technically entered a short-term downtrend. Its 21-day moving average has crossed below its 50 and 100-day moving average. As prices have started to head lower, the volume's actually increased a fair bit. And then as it's bounced off its 200-day moving average, showing that there's a lot more distribution going on than accumulation, and what this suggests is that this downtrend may continue. Out of the four main iron ore producers in Australia, so that's Rio, Fortescue, Champion Iron, and BHB, Fortescue is the leader at the moment. It's up about 5.6% from its 200-day moving average, whereas the rest of them are sitting either at or below their 200-day moving average. So what this means, while we are still in a short-term downtrend, if you are looking to short, it makes more sense to short some of the, the weaker stocks within the iron ore producers. Whereas if you are looking at maybe a chance to go long, it makes more sense to actually go with some of the str stronger stocks within that sector. What I would also like to touch on is December, it's half year report actually came out. So it's net income is up to 5.6 billion, up from only just about 3 billion last half year. So while the stock is in a downtrend, its financials do seem to be improving. And if you look at the overall market, there seems to be quite a big appetite for risk at the moment. And as we know, these trends don't last forever. So as people start to move away from risk, they may look to start to head towards value again, which a lot of these mining companies are still producing massive profits and paying quite big dividends. These are the stocks where investors and traders start to head to. So that's what I would like to wait for before I start to see a bit of an uptrend. As I said, it's still technically in a short term downtrend. So two things I'm waiting for. I wanna see volume increase as it starts to head higher. I want to see it close below its moving averages. Today it traded around the 21 day. Sellers came in, pushed it back down lower. Mm -hmm. And then I also want to see that risk appetite disappear from the market or start to taper off and money start to pour back into some value stocks. Beautiful. Thank you for that breakdown, Lachlan. Mm -hmm. Much appreciated there. Now for you, Nathan, as we know, Aussie dollar, commodity backed currency, heavily impacted by what iron ore prices are doing. What's your take on the Aussie at the moment, in particular against the US dollar? <sighs> Lenny, Technically, this Aussie dollar has been a downtrend for some time, especially against the US. So to hear one of the key drivers in Australia, like why do people want to buy Aussie dollars? So our exporting of, of iron ore is one of those key commodity drivers. And to hear it so negatively talked about, um, Lachlan, and breaking it down as far as technically what is the market thinking right now, what is the direction, then I think that just adds more fuel to this fire of people not wanting to purchase Aussie dollars. This confirms the weakness, from my view, of this Aussie dollar continuing its downtrend. It's been in a technical downtrend for some time. You throw in the fact that if the US has turned around and confirmed that they're going to cut rates this year, it's going to happen then what do you think Australia is going to do, folks, with a weakening economy here, with a large household debt scenario, with rising rates? What do you think they're going to do? They're going to follow suit and they're going to cut. And that, folks, is going to continue to be weaker 
for this Aussie dollar. You throw in the fact that economies around the world, or as I like to call it, the global Titanic, that we're all gonna go down on, okay? If they're gonna buy less iron ore because they don't have the need for in a weakening economy, then that again is going to show more weakness to this Aussie dollar. So I'm literally looking for opportunities to get retracements to get short the Aussie. Excellent, thanks for that, Nathan. On top of that, outside of what we've discussed, this week is gonna be another uh, week filled with economic events, both related for the Aussie and the USD. We're gonna see CPI inflation data rolling out of Australia coming this Wednesday. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have multiple speeches out of the US Fed. Uh, and on top of that, consumer sentiment and I think PCE index rolling through the US as well. So again, another action-packed week for, for traders. All right, gentlemen, thank you for your breakdown today. Lachlan, some great insight into mining stocks. Always love your breakdown of the Aussie dollar, Nathan. So traders out there, if you're new to the markets or experienced and looking to have a, a chat just in relation to the market drivers and what's taking place fundamentally or technically, feel free to reach out. Our emails are gonna be linked down in the description below. And ultimately, if you like the content that we're putting out daily, feel free to like this video, hit the subscribe button as we have plenty more to come. Cheers.